Hello, we are from Ukraine and we live in a beautiful city, Kharkov, and also we are pupils of the tenth school. So, today we want to present our projects and interesting material about our country at school. And today we are going to speak about Ukrainian holidays, Ukrainian customs and traditions, table manners, historical events and Ukrainian day, Ukrainian national clothes, Ukrainian dishes, popular music of Ukraine, capital of our country. country has its own customs and traditions which were formed over the centuries. Ukrainian traditions are interesting and meet a lot for local people. National traditions determine with the way how people live. It's a religion, uh, it's clothing, even food, lifestyle and relationship. Like, uh, like in many countries, traditions in Ukraine are closely connected with everyday life and their agriculture character. Uh, Ukrainians also have heavy songs for several worlds, sitting entertainments, ritual greetings and even superstitions. Uh, for example, local people believe uh, that shaking hands in the double way brings luck and sitting between two people with the same names brings luck too. Uh, Ukrainians are family-oriented people so the origination and existence of the family is followed by many rituals and uh, rules. The ceremony of marriage in our country is called like Vesilia and its ritual means fun. Uh, poetic and mysterious is the summer night of the holiday of Ivana Pala. Young girls wearing flower bears sing and dance in a ring. Afterwards, they put their uh, breath into the water and watch to their future boy. Uh, this ritual shows the girl's future and also fortune. And also one of the important uh, Ukrainian customs is a towel in Ukrainian traditional ritual. It's impossible to imagine a, a Ukrainian house without a towel. It's unlucky that even a century ago there would have been a ritual driven in Ukraine, decorated with every pointed woman or unhosted towel. Handmade towels were activity used not in everyday life but also in various rituals and customs, from birth to doors, and the towel has a commanded human life. The infant that blessed with the towel a robot in a lucky future. This is the first human clothes and towels were guarded with uh, hearts of good parents and given to God there on Christian time. Without a towel, no Ukrainian wedding is presented at all. Undoubtedly, the national has its own ancient culture, custom, traditional and traditional clothing. All this is treasured handed down from generation to generation. And the Ukrainian national custom is no exception. So, let's see what this national custom is looking like. As a rule, the female version consists of a shirt, short, casually, and body shirt. It's got ponies, dowries, belt, a coat, and a dark corset of vest and national shoes. A necklace of Jordanian or coral was worn around the neck. And the wrist of handmade flowers and oatmeal jars was worn and head. The other clothing was coat, jacket, prepared in the shape of the vest. The male version consisted of a shimmer shirt of trousers of dressed with a belt, clothes and hats. There are a lot of family holidays in Ukraine. One of the most popular is New Year. It is celebrated uh, tonight of January uh, from 31 to 1st. At home with members of the family and friends. 
People decorated their house, uh, selling greeting cards and badges for kids, relatives and friends. The symbol on this holiday is New Year's Three. New Year's Day is a special day. Many people make New Year's resolutions, give up bad habits or plan for future. Christmas is a wonderful holiday. It is a, it is a, a feast of, of, of uh, Christmas beers and it is uh, on the eve um, uh, of uh, seven of uh, January. Christmas uh, is a holiday when all members of the family, um, uh, compared to with Great Britain and some other country, Ukrainian people don't change presents on this holiday. Also in Ukraine there is a very interesting religion, holiday is Baptist. It is celebrated as uh, um, January uh, 19th, that uh, everyone can plunge into uh, the hole with holy water and uh, people believe that it is this water that uh, can um, heal from diseases that were store at it for a year. Well, the last holiday I would like to uh, recall is Easter. It is celebrated in Ukraine every first week after, um, after the Vernon Quans and the full moon. The main uh, place on uh, the festive table is this uh, cake uh, or colored eggs laid on the cleaning. Then the refinements are key because you never get a second chance to make first impression of you. A great secret of eating in Ukraine if you are just visiting the country is not ask for a restaurant. Because according to Ukraine, Ukrainian what restaurant implies like high class, elegant dining experience with little music. These are mostly used for weddings, banquets and different celebrations. But if you just want to go for a delicious and expensive food, ask for a catering. These are standard places of eating in Ukraine. Borsh is the famous all over the world. On the main ingredients of this dish is bags, which gives the borsh intense red color. Other ingredients are potatoes, carrots, cabbage, onions and tomato. When you order borscht in Ukrainian cafe, they usually fry it with sauce cream and small garlic buns donuts. Uzbar is a traditional fruit tea, mainly from apples, plums and pears. This heartily refreshing tea is a great choice for hot summer days. It is also served during the festive Christmas day. Standing at the they will make a gentle vacation. Hold the fork in the left hand and the knife in the right hand. Don't begin it until the host invites you to start. The oldest and the most honored guest is so frost. And try everything. Refusing of food is considered very good. The other day in Ukraine there was a sociological survey regarding uh, musical preferences. The respondents were 2000 people over the age of 18. According to them, the most popular styles for Ukrainians above 26%, uh, classical 25%, and folk music 21%, as well as chanson 18%, and rock 14%. 12% 8% of the respondents choose dance and club music, and 7% choose jazz. Only 4% of people think that uh, do not like music and rarely listen to any songs. Independence Day is also made holiday for every country, plus for Ukraine. But it is not only holiday, it is also a famous historical event. And Ukraine had not only Independence Day. The famous historical event for Ukraine was in December 1977. The first Ukrainian in the space was Lenit Katinuk, but he celebrates Independence Day every year. It is also a free day. A better half of people celebrate it all over the country, and are famous actors and singers art all over the country too. It is like fairy tale where you can buy a lot of clothes, foods and drinks. And it is not unusual that some families in that day visit different restaurants and theaters. Yeah, people usually visit concerts. Kiev is one of the biggest and uh, most beautiful European cities. Uh, its population about 3 million people. Uh, also, it's the main administration.
administrative, political, cultural and scientific center of the Ukraine. Kiev is situated on both banks of the Dnipro. Uh, it is the most beautiful and uh, largest rivers in Europe. Uh, Kiev has a rather developed industry uh, which uh, enterprises uh, three sets, computers, planes and other consumer goods. Uh, Kiev is also an, uh, one of the largest uh, scientific centers of Ukraine. Here the Ukrainian Academy of Science is located. Uh, its research are famous for their discoveries. Uh, thousands of young people come to Kiev in order to become uh, students of famous uh, uh, Taras Shevchenko National University um, and other higher educational establishments of the, the city. Many people from all over Ukraine come to Kiev in order to visit their parks, uh, theaters, libraries. Uh, Kiev is often called in a garden city. Thousands of tourists uh, come to see its beauty each year. It's very beautiful in spring when the trees are in blossom and uh, 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 and the parks are uh, very attractive. There are many places of historical interest in the Kiev. Uh, for example, the Golden Gates. At the end, uh, there is Daniel's Church, uh, the monument to Bogdan Khmelnytsky, uh, the monument to Tarasha Cheka. Uh, also, uh, a visited card of Kiev is a, a mother one's monument and uh, the monument to the founders of Kiev. If you visit this city once, you are free to visit it once more. At the end, let's talk about our hometown called Kharkiv. While walking in the center, you can see many historical buildings and, and monuments. For example, big and beautiful Sevchenko's monument that located near Central Plaza. Also, you can find here founder of Kharkiv. If you walk down the street, you'll see Zarkani Strum. But we don't have only different monuments, we have beautiful buildings too. For example, Derspron and near it Kharkiv University. We have also religion ones, like Uspensky and Blakoveshinsky Cathedral. If you are tired, you can walk down Sevchenko's Park or Sarge Yard. But if you want more experience, uh, you can visit Gorkov Amusement Park. But if you don't want any of it, I can recommend you Kharkiv Zur or Ekopak. Привет всем! Сегодня 10 класс Украинской школы номер 12 
познакомит вас с Украиной. Географическое положение любой страны – это как судьба, ее не изменить. Одному государству суждено быть в холоде, другому в тепле. Одно омывается морями, другое расположено в центре материка. Одно окружено соседями, другое обречено на одиночество. Но что интересно, люди, которые живут в этих странах, не жалуются на судьбу. Каждому своя родина. Где бы она ни была, где бы ни находилась, всегда самая дорогая и самая родная. Территория Украины расположена на западе материка Евразия. На юго-западе восточноевропейской равнины. С юго-востока Украина омывается Азовским морем, а с юга – Черным. На севере Украина граничит с Беларусью. На севере и северо-востоке с Россией. На юго-востоке омывается Азовским, а на юге – Черным морями. На юго-западе граничит с Румынией. На западе – с Венгрией и Словакией. На западе и северо-западе – с Польшей. Почти 95% площади страны занято возвышенностью. Приднепровская, Приазовская, Волынская, Подольская и Низменностью. Приднепровская, Причерноморская, Полесская и Закарпатская. На горы приходится 5% Карпаты и Крымские, будто каменные бусы. Они украшают западную и южную часть Украины. Площадь Украины занимает 603 и 7 тысяч километров квадратных. И превышает Германию более чем в полтора раза. Испанию вдвое, Великобританию почти два с половиной раза. По количеству населения Украина находится на шестом месте в Европе. После России, Германии, Великобритании, Франции и Италии. В Украине проживает 42 миллиона человек. В состав Украины входит 24 области и автономная республика Крым. Мы проживаем в Донецкой области. Она расположена на юго-востоке Украины и имеет непосредственный выход к Азовскому морю. Занимает западную часть Донецкого кряжа и восточную половину Приазовской возвышенности, значительную часть бассейна реки Северодонецк и рек Кальмиус Волчи. Рельеф местности холмисто равнинный. Богатство полезных ископаемых области определяет в первую очередь Донецким каменогральным бассейном, одним из крупнейших месторождений угля в Европе. Климат области умеренно континентальный, с частными засухами и суховерием на Донецком кряже. Среди почв преобладают черноземы. Город, в котором мы живем, называется Украинск. Он находится на северо-западе от Донецка, в 23 километрах от него. Гордость Донецкой области – это святые горы. Белые меловые над речкой Северский Донец. Говорят, еще в 9 столетии Белые горы стали пещерным монастырем, приютом для монахов. Северский Донец – рыбная река. Известно, что водится 41 вид рыб. Вот такая наша Украина. А теперь мы хотим знать все о вашей стране. At least 15 minutes of our today's lesson will be devoted uh, to our homeland, to our motherland, to our country, to Ukraine. Ukraine, yes. Well, and um, uh, it will be devoted to our friends from Morocco. Morocco is the country in the north west of Africa, I suppose you know. No? Do you know? Morocco. Morocco. So here you can read Morocco, welcome to Ukraine. Morocco. Ласкало просимо Україну. Well, and the country is situated in the north west of Africa. Sinera Zapadna Chest Africa. Well, and uh, now uh, let the uh, would you Help me, please. Hmm? Lisa, help me, please, to remove the map. Hmm? We shall not need it anymore. Um, we shall be on our pizza. Well, and now, let's review the PowerPoint presentation. Well, is it okay? Yes? So, okay. so Ukraine is my home. Some information about Ukraine for our friends from Morocco. Well, Ukraine on the map of the world. 
It is not very small, I suppose. It is rather big. Well, and uh, Ukraine on the map of Europe is much bigger. Yes? Yes. yes? yes, not small, and it is our pride. Well, and now some information about uh, the uh, territory, about the size of our country. Lisa, would you read, please? Uh, Ukraine has area of, uh, of uh, 600,000. Six hundred eight uh, square kilometers. kilometers. Well, and in miles it is two hundred thirty three uh, thousand uh, six, uh, sixty two square, square miles, 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 which makes in the largest uh, country with its uh, entirety uh, within Europe. Europe within Europe, пределах Европы. У межах Європи ми найбільші. Well, and now the question: What countries does Ukraine border on? What countries does Ukraine border on? Yana. Ukraine shares the land borders with seven countries: Russia, Belarus, Belarus, Belarus Poland, Slovakia, Hungary, Hungary, uh, Hungary, Hungary, Romania, Romania and Moldova. Moldova. So it is. What is Hungary? It is always a problem. Hungary. Венгрия, Угорщина. Почему-то всегда это проблема. Лена Анатольевна, человек, побывавший в Венгрии этим летом, знает. Так, well, and now some information about our people. Kirill, read, please, if you see. Ukraine has a population of about... 42... 42 million making in the... Thirty uh, second. Second most pop populous, populous, populous country in the world. world. Uh, so uh, we take the thirty second range in the list uh, uh, of the population in the world. Мы на тридцать втором месте. Кстати, я не знаю полный список. Ну неплохо. Тридцать второй тоже не самый последний. Well, and uh, here you can see the specimen of. Uh, our passport, yes, uh, is a book and uh, an electronic variant. Um, well, our national symbols, very familiar to you. Well, here you can see the flag of Ukraine and even the trident on it. So, the information about flag. Yeah. The flag of Ukrainian is a banner, banner, banner equally, horizontal, Bands of blue and yellow. Do you know the word banner? Полотнище. Полотнище. Да, мы уже используем слово банк без всякого перевода. Well, and Dryden, we can also, we and foreigners also use the word Dryzub. But it is also possible to say Trident. Trident. Yana. Trident in the national coat, coat of, of arms, arms of Ukraine. Ukraine. Well, and it is made in the same uh, symbolical colors, yellow and, and blue. blue. There it is. Uh, well, the official language. Uh, who wants? Who wants? Ukraine? Oh, Yana. <laughs> the official <laughs> language. <laughs> the official language of Ukraine is Ukrainian. Is Ukrainian. Yes, and uh, here you can see the alphabet in print, and here in handwriting, handwriting. Well, who knows the Ukrainian alphabet by heart? Who knows the Ukrainian alphabet? Everyone. Well, and, uh, well, just read the first line, either here or here. Первую строчку хотя бы прочитать. Ну, для наших друзей, for our friends, slowly, медленно. А, Б, В, Э, Г, Д, Е, Ж, З, И, И, Е, К, Л, Н, М, О, Ha, 
nice. It's easy. <laughs> well, and uh, now, uh, uh, especially for our friends from America, Ukrainian spelling uh, for uh, the country and uh, the uh, cities uh, of Morocco. Здесь я представила написание, украинское написание страны, которые мы посвящаем нашу сегодняшнюю встречу. And the cities. Have you ever heard the cities of Rabat? Слышали когда-нибудь Rabat? Then Casablanca, Casablanca, Tangier, Tangier, and Marrakesh. Marrakesh, and the country is Morocco. Pay attention to this spelling. Well, in English we are in double C, but uh, well, and uh, this is uh, yes double K in our variant. O in English, but A in Ukrainian. Well, and um, the capital city. Uh, who, who? You please read, please. <coughs> The capital city of Ukraine is Kiev, which is a home to over 2.8 million people. Two million eight thousand. Well, have you ever been to Kiev? Have you ever been to the capital of our country? Well, are the pictures familiar to you? Well, what is it? What is it? Um, university of the national. Uh, yes, the national university. Kiev uh, University. Yes, by Taras Shevchenko. Well, have you ever seen this building? Budinok Schmerom. Budinok Schmerom. Well, what is it? Oh no, no, no. It's a uh, Saint Andrew's Church. Saint Andrew's Church. And uh, the monument to Bogdan Khmelnytsky, that is. Well, now some information about uh, geography. Well, Nastya, you please. Uh, and, ah, Ilyana, oh, Ilyana, uh, uh, the, the entire country of Ukraine is uh, flat and plain. That is, entire country. No, I guess that all the country, the most part of it, we understand, flat. Равнинная и плоскогорная. Да, play, play, flat и plain – это практически слова э, синонимы. Плоскогорная, плоское что-то. Ну, совпало по написанию с квартирой, да? And plain – равнинная. Well. А, кстати, мы живем с вами в степной местности, и слово «степ» не присутствует ни в одном другом языке мира. У англичан это «степ». Степ. Наш степ. Well, the land, the ground. Nastya, read please. Yeah. Yes. Ukraine has extremely fertile black soil. В Украине extremely, чрезвычайно, весьма, очень плодородная земля. Причем какая? Черная, да? Плодородный чернозем. Даже по картине видно, да, насколько жирная земля. And the pride, our pride, Mount Havergla. Who, who wants? Lisa, you please. Uh, Mount Havergla is the highest, highest, highest point in Ukraine. Its high height in is the, is Two thousand sixty-one meters, or in feet, uh, foot, six thousand seven hundred sixty-two. To get the status of each city, the mountain uh, is located in the Carpathian Mountains. Carpathian Mountains, the Carpathian Gore, the Carpathian, the Carpathy, the Carpathian Mountains. That is. Well, have you ever been to the Ethiopian <coughs> mountains? No. 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 Have you ever seen the Haverla? Yes, yes, yes. Well, and now the blue veins, Galubia Vienne, the rivers, our water, the source of life, the source of life, 
жизни, Кирилл, you're welcome. Ukraine has around uh, 23,000 rivers, rivers. Uh, most of them uh, drain, drain into, into the, the Black Sea, and the sea, sea of the, of the not sea, sea. Думаю, ну, когда я вижу, 23 тысячи, да, 23, 23 тысячи рек. Большинство из них впадает в Черное и Азовское море. В очередной раз обращаю внимание. The Black Sea and the Sea of Azov. Самая распространенная ошибка, когда наше Азовское море жители Мариуполя называют как? Азов Sea. It's a great mistake. Большая ошибка. Well, and uh, which rivers in our region are, are flown? Which rivers in our region are flown? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ну, в нашем районе, в нашем регионе, какие реки знаем? Кальчик. The Kalchik, the Kalmes, the Siversky Donets, and even the Dnieper is not far from us, and the Parisia. Well, the Dnieper, the Americans say Dnieper, Americans say Dnieper, they say Dnieper, they say Dnieper, they say the Dnieper, Dnieper, the Dnieper, the Dnieper, the Dnieper, the Dnieper, the Dnieper, you know, you're welcome. Dnieper is the longest river of Ukraine and the Ukraine, Ukraine, the fourth longest river in Europe, the total length, and it is about two, Thousand uh, two hundred kilometers, and in miles it is one thousand four hundred. It is very long indeed. Well, and uh, I suppose you remember that the Dnieper divides the territory of Ukraine into two parts: the left bank and the right bank of Ukraine. Dnieper, Dnieper. Поделяет территорию Украины на две части, да, на левобережье, на правом бережье. Ну, well, money, our money. money, money, money. So, Kirill, you're welcome. The Ukraine currency is the Ukraine currency. Currency is, is called, called hryvna. Hryvna. Fam famous writers <laughs> and writers and statesmen are portrayed on the banknotes. Ну, наша валюта называется, по, ну, по государственно, скажем так, да, гривня, гривня, да, но мы в обиходе называем гривна. Well, do you know the uh, people who are portrayed uh, uh, on the banknotes? Well, do you know this man? Uh, Franco. Иван Франко, the writer. Шарашиченко, the artist, the poet, the poet and the statesman and the philosopher, and philosopher. Mikhail Rushevsky, the writer and the statesman and the historian, the playwright, the dramaturg and the poet. Well. Bogdan Hrimisk is the statesman, the hetman, and uh, Ivan Malsepa, Ivan Malsepa, well, the statesman and uh, the hetman. One thousand. One thousand. Oh, with whom? With whom? Uh -huh. The scientist. Well, food work, Kirill, especially for you. Are you fond of football? Do you like football? No, that's why. So read, please. Uh, football. Soccer. Soccer is the most popular sport in Ukraine. Ukraine. The two most uh, successful, successful teams are rivals. The rivals. Dynamo Kiev and uh, Shakhtar Donetsk. Donetsk. Ukraine's uh, Ukraine. Ukraine. Go boasted the twenty. To 2000, to uh, just a moment, 2012 or 2012? Right? Euros Europe, with Poland. Poland. In 2012, году мы совместно с Польшей co-hosted. Hosted, the хозяин, да? То есть и Польша, и Украина 
как были хозяевами э, чемпионат мира по футболу да, в 2012 году. Well, which team do you support? Какую команду поддерживаете? Что вы говорите? Шахтар Донец. Well, goals for you. In a... In 2005 Well, who was the winner in Eurovision in 2004? Oh no, Ruslana, Ruslana with the Wild Dances, 2004. Ukraine won the Eurovision. Ukraine победила на Евровидении, поэтому в 2005 принимала. Well, and uh, who was the winner in 2016? Jamala, Jamala with the song. Песня как называлась Boiled uh, dum dumplings, dumplings with uh, mushrooms, mushrooms potatoes, cottage cheese, cheese cherries, and here they are, and, and borscht, yeah. salt made of beets, uh, cabbage, carrots, potatoes, and meat. Skopic, for the explanation, the explanation, what variety are boiled dumplings? Uh, Слово вареники, пельмени, чебуреки, э, что еще там, бендерики, черчиры, все это непереводимо. Ну, Как-то же надо объяснить, да? Поэтому в скобочке... Что же? Ага, да, э, слово dumplings – это изделие из вареного теста, чтобы было понятно, что это такое. Dumplings with mushrooms, с грибами, potatoes, картофелем, cottage cheese. Что за непроизводимость в России и Европе есть, она называет курган. Да, да, и, и даже да, на, написание пиерог, да, пиерог. Да, да. Э, э, Котти чиз – это то, что мы называем творог, да, бусыр, да. Борщ, борщ, суп из вид свеклы, кабич, капусты, моркови, кутейджус и мид. Очень трудно было найти картинку без сала, поскольку в мусульманскую страну мы отправили презентацию, мусульмане не едят свинину. Well, вышиванка. Well, well, well. Яна. Is, uh, вышиванка is an embroidered, embroidered shirt in Ukrainian national style. Is still a popular outfit nowadays. Embroidered, вышитая. Вышиванка мы сохраняем, да, как название. А embroidered – это вполне английское слово, обозначающее, да, передающее смысл. Вышитая рубашка. Well, outfit – одежда. Популярная одежда и в нашей жизни. Well, who has got a вышиванка? Who has got a вышиванка? У кого вышиванка есть? Well, and uh, the last piece of information, you know. Ukrainians are hospitable, hospitable people. Uh, but uh, of the oldest traditions uh, is to eat uh, guests, to eat bread, bread, bread and salt, salt sea, welcome. welcome. Ukrainians are hospitable people. Гостеприимные, гостеприимные люди, да, кстати, одна из традиций, да, из старинных традиций встречать гостей с хлебом, солью и приговаривать. Welcome, ласкаво просимо, ласкаво просимо. And the last slide, well, 
Just read it uh, in chorus. Давайте произнесем хором. One, two. Welcome to Ukraine. Елена Ласкаво просим. One, two. Ласкаво просим. До Украины. Well, and uh, uh, the video, very uh, interesting, very colorful, очень uh, красочное видео. Я uh, взгляд не могла оторвать, uh, три раза смотрела. Съемки с высоты птичьего полета. И так приятно узнавать места, где ты был. Я надеюсь, что компьютерная обработка была минимальной. И все действительно так. So, I was uh, the author of this uh, video. Oh. Everybody, children, me and my classmates from Karabin High School are going to introduce Morocco to our friends from other countries. Morocco is one of the wonderful countries in the world. It's an African country which is known around the world by its... The geographical location of Morocco. Morocco is a country located in the northwestern corner of Africa, across the Mediterranean Sea and the Strait of Gibraltar from Spain. Morocco is situated in the northern part of the continent of Africa. Morocco is a part of the Lake of uh, Arab States and Arab Maghreb Union. Morocco is a, a part of the African Union and belongs to the group of the Mediterranean countries. The geographical location of Morocco is so special because its territory is surrounded by the Atlantic Ocean and uh, also the Mediterranean Sea. The geographical location of Morocco take uh, place between the uh, equator and the Greenwich line. From the other side, Morocco has borders with both Algeria and Mauritania. Concerning the borders of Morocco, for one side is it located in the northwest of Africa on the edge of continental Europe. Uh, the name is Gibraltar. Uh, the state of uh, the state of the state Gibraltar of the nearest point to the European continent, and it takes uh, 14 kilometers. Its location on the uh, its location on the uh, on the sections of Europe and Africa marks uh, its important uh, crossroads for ships uh, from all over the world. Morocco is a recently divided into twelve regions. This administrative division and uh, division is done to promote self governance. Uh, in this region and self facility, the implementation uh, of new reform. This for true led to legal change and development, which by the end can uh, the end contribute uh, to the development of the whole country. Morocco is king the most king is Mohammed VI. He is a member of the Arab dynasty and accepted to the to the throne on 23 July 1999, upon the death of his father, King, uh, King Hassan II. Morocco ethnic groups. Uh, Morocco is uh, inhabited uh, by different races can, that can be categorized uh, in five principal races, the Amazigh, the, the Arab, the, the region, the Sahrawi, and the Susi, divided by, uh, by races, uh, but uh, united uh, by national cities, uh, how uh, people uh, live together in peace. Taking for granted that Morocco is a country that has been unpronounced by both its African origin as well as its proximity to Europe, especially France and Spain. Therefore, uh, there are different languages and dialects used in Morocco. In terms of the official languages, there are two official languages, Standard Arabic and Tamazight. In terms of the dialects, there are Moroccan Danija, Tarifit Hassani and others. In terms of foreign, the languages used in Morocco, there are Spanish, French and also English and Cultural diversity in Morocco. The existence of different, uh, of different ethnic groups and races in my country plays an important role in such a great cultural diversity. Every region in Morocco has its own culture, its own way of living, and its own traditions. Moving, moving to cities from the north to the south and from the east to the west, you are expected to recognize such a great cultural diversity in, in eating habits, clothes, celebrations, and music, and so on. There are wonderful places and historical monuments in my country. Number 10, Tangier. The story haunt of bee writers, spies, and diplomats, Europe's gateway to Africa remains a cultural crossroads with a heady air of romance and adventure. Once Spain was a freewheeling, hedonistic international zone, Tangier has bounced back from decades of neglect with a new port, restored Medina, and blossoming cultural scene. 
The cafe lined beachfront, labyrinth lined old quarter, and historic Casbah are the perfect introductions to Morocco. Be sure to check out the Casbah Museum, housed in the palace of the former Sultan, and to relax in the Grand Subway for some good old people watching. Number 9, Asila. Before it was a peaceful seaside resort, Asila was the notorious hideout of Barbary pirates. Its strategic position on the Atlantic below the Strait of Gibraltar also drew the hungry eyes of the Spanish and Portuguese. Today, the town's formidable fortifications remain, but thanks to long golden beaches and picturesque whitewashed houses, Asila has become a popular destination for sun seekers instead. Wander the compact with Chami Medina and time your visit for the renowned cultural Mosem Arts Festival in summer, when artists cover the walls with vibrant murals. Number 8. Tukal North Africa's highest peak, Jabal Tukal, towers over its brethren in the high Atlas Mountains. With its scenic stream cross forages, remote villages, and cultivated groves of walnut, apple, and cherry trees, the area is a hiker's paradise. In summer, travelers flock to the small road-end town of Indil to acclimatize and strike out on the two-day trek up the mountain. The last way up is a tough scramble on loose free slopes, but the hike is well worth it for the spectacular views. Number 7. Midness. It's a mini Marrakesh without the crowds. Formerly the Moroccan capital under Sultan Moulay Ismail in the 17th and 18th centuries, Midness remains an extraordinary city of imperial grandeur, built in a distinctive Spanish Moorish style, with imposing defensive walls and magnificent, intricately patterned gates. Ever about the widely spice scented old city, or take in the glory of the city's heyday at the Dar Jamai Museum. Midness is also just a short drive from the captivating Roman ruins of Volubilis a UNESCO World Heritage Site dating back to the 3rd century BC. Number 6. Wazazat Nicknamed the Door of the Desert, Wazazat was once a crossroads for desert traders. Nowadays, the sandy, palm-fringed city is the gateway to the Grand River Valley and the Sahara for international travelers. It's also a stepping stone to nearby village Ibn whose mud brick architecture and dramatic natural setting have made it a popular location for Hollywood movies. Visitors can explore more of Wazazat's cinematic history at Atlas Studios. Excursions from town include sandboarding trips, camel rides, and expeditions through the breathtaking Totora and Dadis Gorges. Number 5. Esaguila. This seaside getaway is rightly famed for its breezy beaches, iconic whitewashed medina, and tree-climbing goats, who scramble up slender branches to nibble on organ berries. Known as the Wind City of Africa, Esawila is an ideal place for wind and kite surfing, and it's just a few hours southwest from Marrakesh, making it a convenient side trip for sea and sun lovers. The ancient art of Tuya wood carving is still practiced in the Bays Lake Medina, and traditional Gnawa music brings the city to life every June during the Gnawa Festival of World Music. Number 4. Chef Chalet. Some come for the gorgeous Blue Medina, others for the pure mountain air. And the marijuana plantations might have something to do with it too. High up in the Rift Mountains between Tangier and Fez, Chef Chalet makes an ideal break from the hustle and bustle of Morocco's larger cities. Its sky blue buildings are said to symbolize spiritual life, and the town has a laid back, stress free atmosphere to match. It's also popular for its cannabis culture, which certainly remains illegal but is partially, unpredictably tolerated. Hike the rugged mountains, unwind in the Medina, and soak in the serenity. Number 3. Merzuga Like driftwood on the shore, Merzuga lies on the edge of a vast desert sea, where dunes can tower up to heights of 500 feet. The village is the stepping off point for camel safaris into Ardashemi, a sand sea where visitors can take in the surreal beauty of the sun-blasted Sahara, and bed down in a rubber camp beneath the dazzling desert stars. If that's not enough to get your heart racing, it's also possible to sand ski or board down the massive dunes. Radical dude. Number two, Fez. The Mecca of the West, the Athens of Africa. Fez is the spiritual and cultural heart of Morocco. Founded in the 8th century, it includes the world's oldest continuously functioning university, the University of El Calamien. Without a doubt, the highlight of the former imperial capital is the aromatic Medina, a chaotic war of markets and workshops, lanes and squares, with a surprise around every corner. Getting lost in the pandemonium is all part of the experience. So enter through the ancient gates, watch out for donkeys and handcarts, and dive right in. Number 1. Marrakesh Fez or Marrakesh? 
It's a question that divides both travelers and locals. If Fence is the outline, raw and authentic, Marrakesh is the color, a bright exuberant sprawl of souks, madrasas, and sumptuous riyadhs and gardens. The city's renowned main square, Jamafana, bustles with snake charmers, storytellers, and dancers. Admire the lofty minaret of the Kutubia Mosque, peruse the collection of jewelry and pottery in Darcy Said Museum, and marvel at magnificent Baia Palace, or just wander down the winding laneways and enjoy a mint tea with a view over the city. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Mojo Travels, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. Welcome to Morocco. This is Morocco. Welcome to Morocco. This is Morocco. Welcome to 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 Morocco. This is Morocco. Welcome to 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 Moroc